The pen tool in Flash Professional is used to create paths and objects with fine precision. This lesson describes the use of the pen and anchor point tools. So here I have a blank project opened up, and I'm going to go in to my pen tool, and when I select that, we have properties for the pen tool. And amongst these properties are stroke color, stroke width, which I'm going to take this down to about 10, the style of stroke, whether it's solid, hairlined, stippled, etc., scaling, and so forth. And these are all simply elements of strokes that you've probably seen before. So using the pen tool, I can click to start my path, and that's going to pop in this little colored dot for me here. And say I want to create something like ocean waves. I can go up and click and drag, and as I click and drag, these little handles pop out. If I hold down the Alt key on Windows or Option key on a Mac, I can get control of one of these handles. And that creates a basic path for us. So let's continue with our waves here. I'm going to click again, much the same way that I did last time, and pressing Alt, holding that down, and then moving is going to allow me to shift any of these anchor points here. And I'm going to just continue doing this to make a series of waves. Okay, that's pretty good. So now that I have these waves, and actually I'm going to zoom in here so we can see it a little bit better. So we have these waves, this path, and right now they look pretty good, but they're not exactly perfect. So I can go in with the sub selection tool and make adjustments to these little handles that are coming out of each anchor point so that they precisely dictate how I want my particular little wave peaks to appear. And you can see I have full control over these things. All right, so that's smoother, that's better. But maybe I want to actually add some anchor points to this. So to do that, I can choose a separate tool here. I can hold my mouse down upon the pen tool and choose the Add Anchor Point tool. And from there, I'm actually able to click upon my existing paths to create new anchor points, which I can then, again, use my sub-selection tool to go in and modify. So I'm dragging these little anchors around right now, but you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard for fine grain precision on these things. So let's say I don't want so many of these anchor points, I can always go in and delete them with the delete anchor point tool, just like that. The last tool in here is the convert anchor point tool, and this can be used to convert that have handles like this. So here's an anchor point with two little handles sticking out of it to make a nice kind of smooth curve. If I click on this anchor point with the anchor point conversion tool, you can see that it turns into an angle, an angular anchor point. So I can do this upon my angular anchor points as well and drag out to convert them to an anchor point with handles. A lot of people, when they first pick up the pen tool, find it a bit daunting. But with practice, it can be a very useful tool within Flash Professional. This lesson has provided an overview and introduction to this tool.